Oh, let's go. Oh. A knee strike, and Trinity takes down Shaw. Trinity making the save here for her Slammiversary opponent. And now a little two-for-one special. It's important matches in the history of Impact Wrestling. Perrazzo and Trinity for the first time ever for the Knockouts World Title come Slammiversary. But coming up next here in Columbus. What up, y'all? This is boy Ace here, and welcome. To ask the news to like so i want to wrap this up man i'm going to wrap up against our odds i did a video on masha masha and killer kelly earlier did that cover their match uh so y'all definitely want to check that out definitely go to that video and i also went over how the match went with savannah evans giselle shaw against diana perrazzo and trinity in the last video definitely check those videos out there and i also did a Real good video on Alex Shelley winning the title as well, if y'all wanted to check that out. So, end of this, what happened after the match was basically Giselle Shaw. Y'all know she was going to go full heel mode. They tried to basically do to Deanna exactly what they did to Jordan Grace the week before. And Jordan Grace has been taken out of action, by the way. So, they were, um, you know, the heels, Jay Vidal and Savannah Evans, they had Deanna kind of holding her so that... You know, uh, Giselle Shaw could get some kicks in the head again. Uh, she was probably going to do it three times just like she did to Jordan Grace. But remember, Trinity was kind of out of action for a little bit uh, at the end of the match because Yana was the one that actually won on the match. And so she came in and uh, was able to beat down Giselle Shaw and uh, was able to do a pretty cool move on uh, a double move on uh, Savannah Evans and Jay Vidal get them down and then what i really like about what impact is doing they're doing this baby face versus baby face thing with the titles and it's kind of unique because they're, they're like what they're doing is they're kind of showing the respect thing some something like what you probably see in new japan pro wrestling or whatever they're doing like a respect thing and not a story but where it's baby face versus heel or whatever or heel versus heel like they're doing like they have mutual respect uh with diana perrazzo and diana perrazzo it, it gives Deanna Perrazzo a chance to be a babyface, you know, just not, you know, I think she's kind of like a tweener, though, but, you know, she's definitely not a heel anymore. And, uh, you know, so she, you know, she shook the, uh, Trinity's hand, and those two are going to have a really good, respectful match at Slammiversary. I can't wait to see how they book this, man. I'm talking about in the last video, what are they going to do? Are they going to get a belt to Trinity, or are they going to keep it on Deanna Perrazzo? Because to me... The most important thing for Deanna Perrazzo right now, because she's already the best female wrestler in the world to me right now. Nobody, I'm not taking any other, I, I don't think nobody else is better than her. I don't, I don't care what name you throw at me. She's the best in the world right now. Right now in 2023, she is the best female wrestler. And for me, I think her title reigns are more important. I would like to see her get a good 10 title reigns uh, with the knockouts title and make history that way. Um, be, 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 you know, have 10 title rings. And the earlier she loses the belt, the earlier she can get to this fourth title ring within the next year. One other thing that I've been saying too, our whole impact patches things up with uh, Tessa Blanchard. I hope it's already happened. I would love to see Tessa Blanchard come into the company right now and face Trinity, bro. I think Indiana, that, I think that'd be fire. That'd be fire if they could bring back Tessa Blanchard, man. Tessa Blanchard needs to start back up from scratch. Needs to rebuild her image because she is too good. She's one of the best. I, I will call, if it wasn't for what she did, she'd easily be, in my eyes, Tessa Blanchard would be the best female wrestler of all uh, in all of the in industry. In the, way, in the way things were going for Tessa, she was looking like she was going to be the best of all time. But... What she did, you know, some of the issues she went through during the pandemic, it really kind of set her backwards. So let's see if they're working with her, you know, but I, I would love to see it, man. But uh, let me know in the comment section right now who y'all think is going to win this match between Trinity and Deanna Parraza. We know Giselle Shaw still going to be in the picture with this, too, because we got a whole month until Slammiversary, so. We'll see how this goes, man. But uh, go on ahead and give me your thoughts on this. Uh, hit that like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this. Well, I'll see y'all. I'm going to probably try to cover this uh, episode on Thursday, man, uh, for Impact. So I'll see y'all then. Thank y'all for watching. After news, good night.